Good morning guys, Griffin Dahlberg here with Twin Cities Peppers. Today is August 4th. Um, it's been forever since I've done an update and I really do apologize for that. No excuses other than my plants have uh, not been doing too well this year and it's been a really tough year for me. Um, and I re realized, you know, this is a, this should have been a good opportunity to share with you guys what I'm doing to um, remedy these issues that I've been having. One thing is um, the slurry test. If you guys look at my uh, channel, you guys can find that. Um, basically a way to diagnose issues um, in your garden. But anyways, I made a beginner mistake and ended up overwatering my plants. Uh, my plants are in very large containers, so once they're overwatered, it takes uh, quite some time to dry out. So basically I had nutrient lockout, dropping leaves, had to cut a few back and um, wait till those things dried out. So I wasn't able to feed or anything and it wasn't able to take up nutrients. None of them were. So uh, this just goes to show that everybody can make mistakes, um, especially if you love your plants too much. Uh, last year I uh, did it correctly, um, kept the uh, pots dry um, and uh, use this, just as much water as I needed to, nothing more, uh, no more, no less. So uh, if you guys are wondering if you're overwatering, you know, lean towards the, the dry side. Um, chances are they have enough water in there unless they're drooping after the day hours. So once the sun goes down, if they're still drooping, um, then it's going to be time to water. At that point, I would feel your pots, pick them up, see how heavy they are, um, and get a kind of a idea as to what the weight is of the pot. Um, so you can, you know, go off of that, lift your pot up, and see um, if it matches the weight that you know it is. So um, we're gonna go down to the garden. I'm gonna show you some stuff. A few plants are doing really well. We've got some flowers and stuff. Uh, not too many pods on there, but I know I will get at least one good harvest off these this year. Um, not nearly as good as last year, but this has been a really good learning experience for me, and I just want to share it with you guys. So let's go down to the garden and uh, check it out. Um, this is my Griff Reaper. You can see it's coming back. I've uh, remedied the issue and um, corrected what was going on check the levels of nutrients in the um, soil using the slurry test like I just talked about. You can check that out on my channel again. But this is the Griff Reaper. You can see it's really flowering up. We got some pods. Um, when shoots grow this fast, you know we're back going. So you can see how it's kind of stretching. Uh, the internodal spacing is kind of um, long. So that's a good thing to see. You can see there is a, quite a few pods down here. Um, I've taken off some ripe ones yesterday, uh, but overall, the very light green growth on the inside uh, uh, signifies um, fast growth, healthy growth. So finally, we're getting back. This is the um, purple pumpkin. I'm not expecting much of this. This one really dropped literally all of its leaves and I had to cut it back. So um, it took a little bit longer to dry out because it didn't have as many leaves it wasn't pulling up as much water um, and you can see these pots are very big so if you guys are using uh, black pots or um, especially this color pots one way you can tell if you're overwatering i realized is if the bottom is kind of uh, slimy um, once it starts drying out you'll see um, that darkness and like uh, green um, i don't know if it's algae or what but um, that will kind of go away once it dries out so that's another good way of uh, telling if you're overwatering. You can see here um, it dried out here but yeah it's another good way. You can feel the bottom right now I just watered them so it's gonna be a little bit wet. Uh, this is my TS Maruga yellow times yellow brain strain uh, putting on some flowers you can see here overwatering. Um, you can get uh, leaves like this clawing that kind of stuff um, but I've been slowly pulling these leaves off and giving the new leaves uh, some room to grow. So you can see there are some flowers on here. Um, hopefully, you know, 
these plants can grow rapidly, especially when they get this big. They have a lot of uh, opportunity to photosynthesize. But you can see this thing is pretty big. I do have some flowers on it, and I can see little flowers coming in. So, oh, I had such high hopes for this this year, but um, yeah, again, make mistakes, learn from them, and um, hopefully uh, have a better year next year. But uh, there's my T.S. Maruga Yellow Times Yellow Brains, and I think this is going to be the only one that I'm going to overwinter, just because I love this plant so much, and it gets so large so fast. Um, I, I just really love this plant and I can't let it go. So, T.S. Maruga Yellow times Yellow Brain Strain. Peach Reaper. Um, not expecting much from this either. Got a few that uh, overwintered ones that just didn't make it this year. So, I know this one could make it next this year. Um, I don't know what's going on here with these uh, fire trucks, but uh, it's probably not good. Um, anyways, uh, Peach Reaper here. Here's my Scotch Brain. I'm really happy to see that it is growing again. This was a little bit slower to get up, get, get up and going. Um, so, um, but you can see there's there's flowers on here and stuff. And this shoot is new. Um, you can see there are some new shoots coming up here. So that's good to see. Always good to see. And here you guys. <laughs> This is uh, an example of what happens when you don't overwater. This thing is in a smaller pot, five gallon, and um, this is uh, one of my Griff Reapers that I grew up from last year. So five gallons aren't gonna hold as much water, so they're gonna dry out faster and thus um, have less potential for overwatering um, when they get larger. But anyways, this is my Griff Reaper here. You can see we got some orange ones on here, so that is pretty freaking cool. I am really excited about that. We've got an orange Griff Reaper here now. So I'm going to definitely grow these out next year. Uh, this is the one with uh, six connected branches here, um, which is kind of crazy. So you can see that branch is like flat and uh, lots of them connected together. Um, also, you guys, if you guys are wondering what these bags are, I will tell you right now. Um, so. This, this was a cross, unexpected cross, but it turned out to be kind of a blessing in disguise. I really like this uh, pepper. But anyways, if you don't want that to happen and you want seeds that are gonna be uh, true to what you're growing um, this year, I bought these on Amazon. They're a mesh bag, fine mesh bag, uh, kind of for like wedding gifts and stuff. But um, basically put this over that and then once, um, make sure there's no flowers in, on it, on the branch. Uh, make sure they're all closed, put that over it, and um, once they open, take a toothbrush or something and just kind of buzz the flowers, and that will pollinate them, and now you'll have uh, isolated seeds for next year. So that's a really good way of doing that. Um, you can see uh, there's different peppers, since this is such an uh, unstable um, variety, Griff Reaper, look at how much different that is than this. So it happened it, it kind of works in a way that um, the branches that they are on kind of make the same um, shape peppers you can see that um, so I got one on this branch one on this branch um, but anyways this thing is uh, really ripping right now you can see all the flowers on it um, just uh, love and life so uh, that's the uh, one of my Griff Reapers here is my Fresno. I just picked a bunch off of these Fresnos. Here is my Paprika. You can see there's a couple down there, a couple new ones on there. Um, here's an Aleppo pepper. Not many on that. Uh, another Aleppo, lots of flowers. You can see how tall this thing is. I've never had an Aleppo this tall. Um, we got some pods on there. Um, and let me get in here and show you guys the rest. Again, I'm trying to isolate this one just because it has such awesome peppers on it. Um, another Aleppo. We got our Kangstar White Thai producing pretty well. I got to stake this um, a little bit better. Kind of grows pretty crazy. So, um, got some more Aleppos back in here. And we got some more Aleppos here. Um, they're not producing as much as I thought they would. But. 
uh, there's a lot of pests in here, um, thrips mainly, and I really don't want to spray because I have praying mantis. Um, and I use Captain Jack's dead bug, which is organic, but it really kind of kills any bug. So you can see all the flowers on this. This is the Jim Duffy, Duffy Aleppo, lots of flowers. Um, there are some peppers back there, but uh, here's my marugla. You can see there's one little pepper on that, um, but we got flowers everywhere. So we're going to get one good harvest off that. And here is my uh, um, sugar rush striped, uh, tons and tons of flowers on that, so really excited for that one. Um, still tons of flowers over here, same plant, tons of flowers over here. And here we got our um, bell pepper, flowers, flowers, and next year I don't think I'm going to load this bed up that much. Um, it just gets kind of crowded tough to tell what's what but uh you can see there's some ponds back in there and um yeah just lots of flowers so um speaking of flowers actually hold on here's my seven pod gigantic orange again not nearly as good as it looked last year um this leaf spot i'm i've seen mixed things on what that is might be bacterial leaf spot, it could be um, too much nutrients, but I uh, just can't figure it out, man. If you guys have any idea what that is, please, please post it in the comments below. Um, sometimes it looks different. I mean, look at this one. This is uh, my um, Jay's Peach Ghost, which is really unfortunate. Really was looking forward to this one. You can see all those black marks. Here's my Reaper times Peach Boot. Um, so many flowers, I can't even believe this. I mean, you seeing that, I hope. Here we go. More flowers there. Tons of flowers there. So, Reaper times Peach Boot. Um, here is my Reaper times Jay's Peach Ghost. Really, really excited for this one still. Um, it actually does have a few pods on it, very small. But um, that is my Reaper times Jay's Peach Ghost. And this one really didn't get affected. This is my uh, Ghostly Jalapeno. You can see all the peppers on there. All the peppers down here. So this is the ghostly jalapeno. Really excited to try this one out. And then this is my uh, purple pumpkin times peach reaper. It is actually doing pretty damn well. Um, happy with how many flowers it has on there. And uh, it's already put out a few pods you can see there. Um, there's another one here. But I have some show and tell. Um, I have two of these plants, okay? So I grew out two different seeds from the same pod. This is one of them. You can see how big the calyx on there is. Really pretty um, awesome. And I love how long these stems are. Um, so I really like that phenotype of this cross. And then we have grown out from the same exact pepper that I crossed last year. Purple pumpkin times peach reaper. This one looks more like a pumpkin. Same color, same size calyx, just different shape. So I think it's really cool how these um, crosses work. You get different shapes and different colors. It's really neat. So if you guys haven't already done it, I would suggest doing it. And I can actually put out a video if you guys want. That was my purple pumpkin times peach reaper. And this plant really took off when I got it dialed in. Um, this is uh, my griff reaper number one. So I'm calling it this year. You can see all the um, leaves on there. And then putting out flowers. Got some pods on there as well. See all the flowers. 
some branches have more flowers than others. Uh, so this Griff Reaper is uh, kind of a different shape. Um, I kind of actually like the shape of this one, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, this is my Griff Reaper number one. It's my Griff Reaper number two. Lots of flowers on there. Some peppers down below. Um, again, rapid growth. Been feeding these guys uh, Alaskan fish fertilizer. And um, it's called SLF 100, as well as Recharge. Um, I can put a link in the description for you guys on that stuff. You can see the Griff Reaper number two. And then we got our purple pumpkin number two as well. So same kind of leaf structure, same color stems. Um, these really look like the purple pumpkin stems and uh, leaves. Um, so that's really cool. I, I, it just amazes me how crosses work. I really love doing that. I'm gonna keep doing that every year now. So um, I picked a bunch of peppers off here yesterday, but you can see there's still some on here. Um, but again, I'm gonna isolate this one for sure. Get some uh, cool uh, isolated seeds off that. If you guys like this video and wanna follow along for the rest of the season, please like, comment, and subscribe. It'll really help my channel, and we'll see you next time.